Hey, what's going on guys? And today I'm actually going to do a review of the Sense electricity monitor. So I wanted to put this together in a couple parts. Um, first off, kind of talk about what this actually came with. Um, second, talk about the installation. And then third, I'll show you the functionality and I'll actually jump over to my computer and I'll show you the UI that you get online when you log into the Sense portal where you can kind of see everything that's going on and talk a little bit about that. So first off, this came packaged pretty nicely. Um, the instructions were very straightforward. I was able to have an electrician come that I've worked with many times. I knew he's a competent electrician that has done many things that were more complex inside of my home. And he had never installed a sense monitor or any of these energy monitors. And he was able to figure this out pretty quickly. Pretty much you have um, within your electric box, which you can see I have here, um, once this whole panel comes off, this actual like covering, there's two mains. And again, I'm far from an electrician here. Um, so if I'm explaining this a little bit wrong, forgive me, but there's there's two like main uh, wires that come into the panel and pretty much all you're doing is clamping these onto each of them. The way that Sense works is um, it's going to be detecting all of the different devices within your panel over time. So in this case, you know, we have something labeled here for like hot water. So we know that these circuits are dedicated to that unit. With this Sense unit, you're not actually setting up anything based on the circuits themselves. So what's going to happen is over time, over, you know, the next coming weeks and months, Sense is going to say hey we found a new device and um, what's essentially going to happen is as you use those devices sense will see those patterns and pick up on them now the only downside of that is that not every device is going to be detected but i have a pretty complex house in fact i have an in-law so we have multiple refrigerators uh, multiple dishwashers we have multiple washer and dryers um, there's a boiler, there's a garage door, many, many things going on within this house. In fact, there's an entire sub panel that's loaded um, with other functionality. And Sense has actually done a pretty good job of detecting most of what's in the house. And I, I generally have a, a fairly good idea of what's going on and I can see the usage. And that was the biggest reason I decided to get this. So from a setup perspective, I paid the electrician, I believe it was about $100 to set this up. I definitely would not pay anyone more than $150 to install this. You have your, um, I believe this is uh, the power here, and then this is an additional line that then gets plugged in to the actual box itself. Um, this basically sits inside here and it just comes right through your panel. So fairly straightforward. Um, you've got an antenna here, which will read out, um, you know, for the device itself. And I would suggest like we did here, just mounting it. We have it right below our internet router and it works in here fairly well. So. I'm going to bring the video over to uh, my desktop and I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the actual functionality, which I think is what you're probably going to be most curious about. So let's dive over and talk about that. Okay, so I'm on my desktop computer now and I wanted to show you uh, the Sense Energy Monitor statistics that you get when you've actually set up your account and you've got the Sense unit all set up and ready to go. Now, the great thing about this is not only do you have a mobile app, but you can also log into your desktop once you've created your account and you can use this to kind of track and see what's going on. So I'm gonna go through all the different uh, pieces of this. Right now, I'm on the Now tab. So on the left-hand side, I can see any of the activity of anything that's happening. And again, some of these are probably not fully accurate. Um, when Sense detects a device, they kind of make a best guess as to what that particular unit is. So you can see here, um, it just said that the refrigerator turned on, but the refrigerator is on all the time. So it sort of made a guess, and you can see there's a question mark behind that. Um, it found a unit called Heat One, dryer, um, stove, Let's see what else we have. Now, of course, those are many of the common devices. And um, this is now, that was all of um, today. And now we can look at yesterday and again, see similar patterns of the devices that it's seen come on and off. So these are really the most common things. Um, here you can see the microwave um, was found uh, among many other things that are getting utilized. So right now I know that we have the dryer running. Um, it detects anything that it hasn't categorized into this other category. So Anything beyond that, it puts into this always on category. So this would be things like uh, we have a little mini hydroponic garden that runs, uh, maybe a coffee machine that's plugged in all the time, refrigerators, dryers, um, washers, anything you might have that's just being plugged in all the time. We're using about 495 watts. So a really cool thing about this is I could actually go in and make changes to um, things that I'm doing in the house. Like if I actually go right now, so you can see we're at about uh, floating kind of around that 7,800 mark. Um, I could go and flip something off. In fact, right now it's a little bit um, erratic, but I could go change something like maybe I'll turn off the light in my house. So give me a second, I'll do that. So I just went ahead and turned off the light. 
Um, right now, I think because of the dryer running, this isn't really a good representation, but if we didn't have that going and it wasn't kind of fluctuating the wattage, um, you could literally turn lights off in your house and see, oh, the wattage went down. I also have a unit that's in my, in my computer office where um, it basically powers off the whole power strip that powers the printer, uh, a computer, and anything you know plugged into that, monitors, all the above. And if I flip that off, I can see just from the static usage of just that being idle and literally turned off, the power draw drops by about 50 to 75 watts. So really, really cool to kind of see how things are utilizing the electricity in your home. Now, beyond that, um, we can drill into this. So if I click on other, I can actually get statistics for um, a specific day, the week, the month, as well as the year. And it will actually give you a rough idea based on input that you put into your profile. If you said, hey, I use, um, you know, it's $12 per kilowatt hour um, or whatever that is, or 12, it'd be like 12 cents, I think, um, per kilowatt hour. Um, it's going to read out and give you a rough estimate how much your bill is. So you can see over the course of the month, this will be my first full month that I've actually had cents running. Um, today is the 29th that I'm recording this. So we basically only have about a day left. Um, I've used of the other category, 827 kilowatt hours, which equals about $110 based on the amount that I gave them, which is 60% of my total bill. Now I can actually go back and um, I could do my always on, and it's gonna give me further statistics to compare um, against other Sense users. So we're actually kind of in the um, higher range of what most people do. It's gonna tell me my always on devices are using about $262 um, you know, a year. And then it's about 11% of my total usage. Um, it also gives us data around our always on devices, stats for that. And uh, again, we can filter this based on day, week, month, and year. Now, going into some of the other categories here, um, we can go to trends. And again, we can do some comparison of similar homes. Um, you can see here my total usage of the month was 1,366 kilowatts. Again, we have a very heavy electric usage house. Um, the house is heated and cooled um, with electric heat. So, um, you know, that, that's something that's going to draw more. And then, of course, I mentioned I have an in-law apartment. So really, it's almost like I have a, a small studio apartment that's also got someone utilizing electricity. So um, plus, we're home all the time using computers, TVs, um, stay-at-home mom we've got here. So a lot going on. Um, if I go over to the meter, I can actually see an activity log of what's happening now. And I can drill this down by minute, hour, um, day as well as week. So this really gives me like good statistics. Like you can see here, there was a massive spike at 11 o'clock at night. And this is probably when my wife decided to like run the dryer or something and, you know, clean some clothes. And now again, this morning, um, you know, running the dryer, using it. And whereas otherwise we were very, very low in the early, early, early um, hours of the morning. This is basically while we were sleeping, there's just no activity going on. So this is a pretty cool unit. I really like that you can do this. Um, I would say some of the cons of this unit is that as you can see here under the devices tab, it's only detected very specific things. And some of them, it really doesn't know. Like this, it found something called motor. And this is only, um, you know, it's turned on a number of times, but only runs for four seconds at a time. Um, it did find my garage door, which we don't use too much. And as you can see, it's been on about 35 times. And um, usually it's only on for about 16 seconds. And this is how much electricity that's used. So it's kind of nice to see this, but overall for the other category, we really don't have a lot that we can base this on. Um, you know, I really don't know. The reason that I got this for this particular property we just moved in was that I really wanted to determine, you know, am I actually using as much electricity as it says? And is there things that I can be doing to kind of monitor this? And I think for that purpose, um, this is solving that problem. I'm able to kind of identify or, you know, play around with certain things in the house, um, try to work on getting this always on to come down. Another thing that I know you can do and I have not done is you can buy special outlets that are compatible with Sense that will allow you to monitor and understand a little bit more about um, you know, what's happening with certain devices. So you could have one of these outlets plugged into your TV and that will have a better read on knowing that that's actually the electricity being used with Sense and you can sync that up. The only downside of that is you're gonna spend you know, $50, $75 to buy that unit and is it worth spending that amount of money to be able to monitor when you're probably going to, it's going to take you a lot longer period of time to utilize that amount of money in, in electricity usage. Um, another cool thing that this unit does is you can tie it into um, your solar panels. I do not have solar panels, but it is something we're definitely considering doing because of the amount of usage that we have in the home. Um, but this is something that um, they have an add on where you can add some extra monitors and actually get you should you should usage statistics. Sorry, I'm kind of slipping on that word on uh, how the solar is going with the home. So 
Oh, well, I think it's a really cool device, uh, very simplistic. I do have a similar monitor that's a little bit older um, called Curb, and that one has a similar UI, but it's not as good as this one. Um, this one's much more in depth in terms of the detail and just the overall look and feel of it. Um, the good thing about Curb though, is it can be set up with all of your specific circuits. So you know like, hey, this circuit is set up for my washer dryer, and you can literally detect that usage based on that circuit. The downside of that is it's gonna take a little bit more time for an electrician to set up. Um, and that UI is really not all that great. Um, there's no mobile app and, uh, you know, it's just not, not a great interface to look at compared to sense. So if you're looking for something simplistic, maybe you're really looking for something where you can just monitor your overall usage, kind of get an idea of what's happening in the home by flipping things on or off. I'd say this is a good bet, but you're not really going to be able to label things or go in and say, oh, well, I turned this thing on and now all of a sudden sense detects it. And I'm going to label this as, you know, bedroom light. It's not going to be that simple. So that is a downside. But I think overall, if you're looking for better energy monitoring, things like that, this is a good bet. There's going to be a link below this video if you found this helpful. Um, you can actually go pick this up through my link and I will earn a small commission. And I definitely appreciate that. You're going to pay the same, same amount of money to pick up the Sense Monitor, but I'll earn a little bit of commission. It definitely helps me out. Um, so again, thanks for watching this review and I hope you found it helpful.